It is Sunday, uh, August 14th, at 11.35 a.m. We just did a live scan for a woman's husband. I did her fingerprints. I don't know when, but she just called me this morning and said, hey, you did a live scan for me a while back. Can you do one for my husband? Of course I can. And they said, oh, he's, you know, can you meet him at 11.30? Um, it's here in town. It's just 10 minute drive and uh, I said no problem came in knocked it out the scans Once you get it down and get used to it you can From setup to by the time you leave is seven minutes max um, So we did that first live scan for today and now we're going out of town which is about a 45 minute drive to scan a class for an insurance company. So this lady found me and maybe once a month, so I have another class, 10, 15 people. And I go out and scan the class and that's it. And I accept, let me move this window up. So with the companies, a lot of times they pay with, um, what's that called? Prepaid accounts. So the money doesn't go directly into my bank right away. It it goes on to the, to the certifix and then you can funnel that back to your bank account so you don't get that cash right away, which is, which is okay. Which is all right. But this is the, the live scan day. The live scan business is consistent. And especially because I do a mobile, I did two for uh, husband and wife. They have three kids, young kids, and they work during the day. And live camp places are all nine to five, Monday through Friday, and you gotta make an appointment. So it's almost impossible to make that happen. And she was like, dang, you're mobile. Thanks for coming out. My pleasure. So, mobile live scan is uh, beneficial. Eventually, I'll get an office once I'm working on a couple other things, a couple other businesses that I'm trying to offer. And once I do that, then then I'll have an office for that. But for notary and live scan, there's there's no need to have an office. Um, so that's that. We're headed out of town right now. The appointment's not till two o'clock. So maybe on the way, I'll do some. Uber Eats or Grubhub make some money on the way out there alright so see you soon so we're stuck in traffic but we did do uh, Uber Eats so a lot of times at Uber Eats I do I, I get orders for Starbucks which is which are the easiest to do because they make everything fast and it's already ready for you when you pull up restaurant orders are terrible um, I get those through Grubhub sometimes. I did like one from Sizzler yesterday and I had to wait like, I don't know, 10 minutes. But anyway, the Starbucks one was cool. I was passing the Starbucks, got the notification. It was like one minute away. Went in there, picked it up, dropped it off, and it was all done in 10 minutes. And it was like, I don't know, $10 and some change for me. And then now I'm on the freeway, headed to uh, my fingerprint. So um, I just do my food delivery in between appointments or if I'm going to the grocery store, I'll cut it on and I'll get one on the way, drop it off or if I'm leaving a grocery store, I'll cut the app on and get one on the way and drop it off before I go home. So I don't set time out to do it. It's just in between appointments if I have time, if I'm leaving one place and headed from A to B in between there, if I get one, I get it. If not, I don't. Wow. So, it's not even on our side of the freeway. The accident was on the other side. Normally, I'd be upset. But, it was crazy. It was a charter bus that was that caught fire. Half of it was burned. So, hopefully, everybody's okay. Roll this window up. Yeah, that was crazy. The whole half of the bus.
bus was, the fire was put out, but the bus was black, windows gone. That was crazy. Just got one um, right off the freeway for Bevmo. That's it there. This one's like 15, I think. And um, took me about 10, 12 minutes to do, which is not bad. Then we'll head back on the freeway. That was my first time delivering alcohol for Uber. You have to verify identity, make sure the person's not intoxicated and they appear sober, which kind of defeats the purpose, right? You're ordering alcohol, so if they if they were intoxicated, you'd be like, oh, okay, this makes sense. You're ordering alcohol to keep the party going. But I guess, oh man, I hit a dead end. Man. Anyway, I have to verify identity, have them sign, which was cool. So, this didn't take long. This was about, I don't know, I don't know, 15 minutes max. Max was 15. And the distance from getting off the freeway to getting back on the freeway that I drove was three miles. So, not bad. Not bad for a quick $15. So, like I said, I only do this in between. I'm totally lost. I only do this in between appointments. Because if you do this, do this and try to make enough to pay rent at least... You know, unless you live by food courts or, you know, busy places, you're going to have to go park in those areas. But not bad. So I just do it in between appointments. We did 10 prints. Um, 40 for the rolling fee. So it came out to like 33 for me minus the certifix fee. And that's like 330 for me. And two, 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 we're done. It's a finish in like 40 minutes, 10 people, 40 minutes. And now we're eating. She always has food for me. Hawaiian barbecue today. So it's a pretty good day. And I did a couple. And I met I met someone from another office that came in and said, Hey, oh, you do mobile prints? Well, I'm calling you too. So there's another office in another city next door. So whenever they have it, they'll give me a call. And they do mobile prints and take care of it right there. So now we have another account. And we did about $60, I think, in Uber and Grubhub. And I got one more fingerprint to do. And that's it for today. It's 6, 13, so that'll be 10, 12 fingerprints one day. 12 is a lot, a lot. I could probably make a living if I did 12 a day. But that the big one, the bulk was from doing the insurance company. And like us, let me see something. Now the AC makes noise in the phone. But yeah, it's a very, very good Sunday. And so um, we did link up with the other insurance. They got businesses in different cities doing classes. So. My plan is to go out and fingerprint them all whenever they have another class. All over. I've been emailing a couple churches too because they have to get fingerprints. I've done some churches here in town and those worked out nice. As you know, churches always have a big congregation. We just did the last print and it took about five minutes. Five minutes. He didn't have the form printed out. So I printed it for him, and um, he, yeah, he paid me for the print. I didn't do it for free, but it was no big deal. But anyway, it just took about five minutes to do the prints. When people have good prints, well, good prints is when you don't have to uh, do it twice. You just psh, down up, it takes, and hit the floor, down up, it takes. Um, those are the quick ones. Depending on the age and the type of job they have, it's sometimes harder to read people's prints and do the cracks old or too dry but uh today was a good day tomorrow so far i just have one in the morning not one in the morning and that's it but we'll see what's after that and then maybe in between now i'll do some more do some more rub uh, uber rub hub but anyway good day for fingerprints